Hello and welcome to In The Lab. Today you're joining us for a wonderful practical on methane bubbles. You can probably hear that sound in the background. And if you take a look, there's some sort of concoction uh, brewing over here. Uh, what exactly is this, uh, Mr Walker? Well, the noise isn't me, just to let you know. Come a little bit closer, have a look in here. As you can see, the bubbles are already flying when I chop it off. So uh, we've got methane gas coming from our gas taps, going into there, bubbling through. The bubbles are filling with methane gas. And I can even feel that they landed on my head. That's how exciting this practical is. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a lump of these bubbles. Hopefully they're not gonna fly away. I'm gonna put them on the hands of the willing Mr. Reese. He's just gonna wet his hands first. Because of course, when you're dealing with fire, water is a good thing to make sure you don't get burnt. So it's a good safety practice there. Don't lose safety hair. first. You don't want to lose any hair at all. I'm going to scoop up the bubbles. That's better. Stick it right in the water there. Get a nice big lump of bubbles. And hopefully, I can pass them. In fact, I'm going to let Mr. Reese jump in to grab them. Yeah. You grab them yourself. Okay, let's get some good ones. This is here. this is worth the wait, everybody. One thing about couple there. He's gonna hold the bubbles in his hands like that. I'm gonna get my special social distance stick and I'm going to light the end there and we'll see what happens when I put that light against the bubbles. I think you can guess, but just in case you've got a minute now to have another think. Okay. Now let's find out what's going to happen when we light these bubbles. Here we go, I'm going to move it in. Well, if you guessed that that was going to happen, you would be absolutely correct. Now, I'll tell you exactly what happened in a moment, but first of all, I'd like you to meet Mr. Thomas, who Hi. is our guest for the next segment. He's going to just set up a line of bubbles along the desk, and we'll see what happens there. Now, what took place in the reaction was something called combustion. Whenever you burn something like methane, a fuel, a hydrocarbon, you are going to make carbon dioxide and water. It'll happen very quickly and release a huge amount of energy. And that's what we saw took place in Mr. Reese's hands as he split them apart. Now the reason he did that is because he didn't want a fireball made in his face, otherwise he'd have no eyebrows left. So he moved his hands out of the way and that dispersed the fire in front of him so it was totally safe for him to do. So Mr. Thomas now has made a nice line of bubbles. He's going to light it. Let's we'll see if we can get a nice line. Here we go. Take two. This is science for you. Nice. If we can get there quick enough, we'll have a lovely line. There we go. Almost, right. almost. Let's add some more bubbles on while he's doing that. Go for it. At last, worth the wait, as indeed science always is. So, for the final part of In The Lab today, we're going to look back at these bubbles, at their very source, these methane bubbles we're seeing forming, uh, and we're going to look at something that has happened a couple of times today. Um, so in a second, you're going to see that these methane bubbles actually start to float away, and when they do, they'll separate and they'll float towards the ceiling, which is about to happen now. And there we go. They didn't land on my head this time, so I'm very pleased. Very true, very true. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing again. This time we're going to be actually lighting them mid-air. So Mr. Thomas is going to help for this one. So when he's ready, I'm going to chop the bubbles and he's going to light them. Are you ready, Mr. Thomas? I'm ready. Whoa. Amazing.
So just the conclusion of what we've done in the lab today, what have we learned, Miss Walker? Well, I think we've learned lots of things. Firstly, that of course we have to be really safe. Secondly, that methane will combust or burn to make carbon dioxide and water. It produces a lot of heat. And thirdly, we didn't actually say this, but I think you noticed it, methane is lighter than air. That's what allows it to rise up, and if we didn't have the roof on the building, it would just keep on going and going and going. So, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I certainly did, and if you've got any questions or comments, then please do get in touch, and we might feature the answer in a later video.